Hey guys, welcome back to Pep Nation. Uh, Mark and Lisa sent them the question basically about sports apparel. Uh, basically, the questions were very similar. How can I um, purchase all the stuff, the things I need, socks, cleats, etc., and not spend a whole bunch of money, you know, not break your pockets or your parents' pockets? I have a couple key uh, places that you can hit up uh, that you can definitely save money, look good, feel good, play good. First place I'm going to talk about is Ross. Uh, Ross is basically like a TJ Maxx or a Marshalls. Uh, I bought these shoes here, my cleats actually, uh, soccer players, football players, lacrosse, you guys all need cleats. Uh, I think I paid $20, $25 for these cleats. Original price $130 for Nike Zooms. I mean, can you beat that? That's a good deal, you know what I mean? Uh, second place I'm going to talk about is going to be Filene's Basement. Everyone has that store. It's great for young athletes or, or adults, anyone who wants to be athletic or is training uh, because you can get great workout gear there, great workout accessories, shorts, socks, even sports training shoes. Mostly tennis shoes, though. Um, these here are the Nike Fusion. It's a running shoe, cross-training shoe. I think I may have paid $30 for a $110 shoe, a uh, pair of shoes from Nordstrom's Back Rack. The great thing about it, a lot of adults go there, a lot of women shop there, shop there and for the most part, they're not buying training shoes, especially for men, okay? Uh, the third place I'm going to talk about is Marshalls. Marshalls is a great place to buy your shorts, uh, compression shirts. Uh, awesome, especially when you're training out in the wintertime or the summertime, whatever time you need to train. It's a great place to buy uh, your shorts. So the, um, I got these shorts here, a uh, pair of Adidas shorts, red and black. I think I may have paid um, $10 for them. $10 for a pair of shorts that usually cost anywhere between $30 and $50. Bucks. So you really can't beat that. Awesome pair of shorts. I love them. Lightweight. I look good playing in them, so why not? Last thing I'm going to talk about are compression shorts. Guys, these are really important. You want to keep everything, your package, everything together. You understand what I'm saying? Because you can't be painful out there. Don't don't work out in your in your boxers. I'm just saying it's really not a good look, especially when you're training around, you know, young ladies and things like that. You want to keep everything together. Um, I have some compression shorts here. Keep the I have some compression shorts here that I think I paid um, $5 for at Gap. Compression shorts from Gap for 5 bucks. You really can't beat that. You know what I mean? They're on sale, so I probably bought about 4 or 5 pair. But again, these things run you about $30, $35, $40 bucks for compression shorts. Yeah, they're awesome, but that's a lot of money. So instead of paying, you know, what is that, 30 times 4 you know what the math is. That's 120 bucks. I paid four times five, which is twenty dollars. Yeah, I, you know, I do like my math too. Okay, so that's another great way uh, to save money. Gap sales compression shorts, great things. You know, why not? Look good, feel good, play good. Those are about four stores. You go to Gap, get your compression shorts. Marshalls, you can get your compression shorts and workout gear. Also at TJ Maxx. Then we have our Filet's basement. We can get our training shoes, compression shorts, and clothes. Last place is Ross. They sell everything, including the cleats. Cleats are expensive. Look good, play good, feel good. Hey, I always look good on the field. You know what I'm saying? They say that's the game out on the field. You feel me? Hey, get your stuff. Make sure you play good.